Hey everybody, my name is Chad and I'm the Director of Children's Ministry here at Crossroads. This will be the last of the three videos that you will need to review, but we are so glad that you have been able to spend this time with us. In this video, I'm excited to share with you the concept of thinking with the end in mind. You know, as parents, we want to be the best parent we can be for our kids. So we do everything that we can to bring them up with the best opportunities to succeed. But how do we define success when we think with the end in mind? What is our end target and where does our focus lie? When we desire for our kids to succeed, what often happens is rather than parenting out of focus, we parent out of fear. We worry about things like, they need to be on this team early, or they're gonna just fall behind. They need to practice more often. You know, maybe we should hire a private coach or tutors or book private lessons. The second thing we tend to do as parents is rather than, again, parenting out of focus, we parent out of comparison. Their kid is talking before our kid. Uh, their kid knows their ABCs already. Their kid is reading first, their kid is faster, their kid is stronger, and the list could just go on and on and on. So we're finding ourselves parenting out of fear and comparison rather than focus. Where our time is being spent on either making sure our child doesn't fall behind or we're just trying to keep up in general with the Joneses. So the big question is, what should our focus be? What really is our end target? So here it is. If we're thinking with the end in mind, our main priority should be to raise our kids with the characters of Christ and building within them authentic faith. So if this is our main priority, or at least it should be, why does it often end up last on our list? Or we save it for when we just have time? When do we encourage our kids to spend time with God? Is our time with God just a short prayer at the dinner table or at bedtime? Is our time with God just maybe saved for Sunday mornings? As our Family Ministries team continues to partner with you, we want to be able to cue you with things that will help you build authentic faith in your child with the end focus as a priority. Number one, partnering with parents, where we truly believe that two combined influences, being the church and the family, can lead to authentic faith in your child. Number two, significant relationships over time such as the time our small group leaders want to invest in the lives of your child. Number three, learning life-relevant biblical truth. Number four, spiritual habits, which is an acronym that we use for hang time with God, accountability with another believer, Bible memorization, involvement in the church, tithing, and studying scripture. Number five, helping kids to discover their personal ministry. And finally, number six, celebrating and helping families through significant life events. Now, as you continue to partner with us here at Crossroads, you're gonna hear a lot more about these six catalysts. But I am so excited that you have chosen to take this amazing step to dedicate your child. Now, in the first video, you heard about the covenant that we are going to ask you to write. I'd like you to take some time now to go through that with you. As you begin to put together your covenant, be thinking with the end in mind. Who do you want your child to be? What steps are you gonna take that will help your child develop the characters of Christ and build that authentic faith? Where is your focus and where is your end target? Now at the end of this video, we'd love for you to sit down and write a description of the type of person you'd like your child to grow up to be and what you will do to help them to become this. We call this a family covenant. It's a personal promise between you, possibly your spouse, your child, and God. As a parent, what do you most desire for your child? What will you promise your child? What do you promise to the church about your child? Do you want your child to be forgiving, generous, a good friend, a hard worker, compassionate, determined, loyal? How will you help them become this type of person? Ask yourself questions like, do you commit yourself to the ways of Jesus for your whole life? How will you commit to model that for your child? How will you go about encouraging your child? What type of environment do you desire to create for your child? If you're married, what additional commitment do you make to one another as role models of marriage 
to your child. So after this video, go ahead, take some time to write your covenant. We always encourage creativity when making your covenant. We ask that you write it out because you will read it on stage during the child dedication service. Or if you let us know well in advance, we can arrange someone to read it for you. We do ask that you keep your covenant under 220 words. Now, as a Crossroads Family Ministries team, we are excited to continue to partner with you together as we think with the end in mind.